In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a modded Minecraft server for free. The first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. Make sure that Minecraft Java Edition is selected and what we need to do is we need to load into the version of Minecraft we are trying to actually make into a modded server. So we're going to go ahead and make a modded server for Minecraft 1.21.4. So here it is, I already have it selected. However, if you're trying to make a modded server for an older version of Minecraft or maybe a different version, then all you want to do is you want to go to the top menu, select over here where it says installations, then go ahead and press on new installation. And then over here where it says versions, you guys can go ahead and manually look for a different version. So for example, if you wanted to make a modded server for Minecraft 1.16, that is definitely something you could do. And all you need to do is just look up 1.16 and then just load into it. But anyways, guys, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on play, make sure that the installation is selected, then go ahead and press on play one more time. And now my Minecraft will officially be open. So once it's open, you can go ahead and close it. The next thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and open up any web browser. For this video, I'm going to be utilizing Google Chrome, but you could use any other web browser. So now all we're going to be doing is we're going to go to the search bar and then we're just going to be looking up a central mod Minecraft just like so. So there you go. Type it in. And then all you want to do is you want to select on the official essential.gg website. It should bring you to a page that looks like this. Essential mod is a mod that will actually allow us to host our very own servers and in those servers we can go ahead and add mods. So all we're going to be doing is we're going to be pressing on this blue button that does say download. And there you go. It is now downloaded over here. So for clarity purposes, I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop the essential installer to my desktop just to make things a bit easier to actually visualize. However, you guys could always go ahead and open up your file explorer and then find the essential installer from there. But anyways, guys, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and double click on the essential installer like this. And then eventually it should open up a menu and now it'll open up a menu that looks like this install the best way to play minecraft so go ahead and just press on get started and over here make sure you do select on minecraft launcher and then you're going to get a screen that looks like this so all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on this button that says new installation then give your installation a name for this video i'm just going to be going with 1.21.4 fabric essential then where it says Minecraft version, go ahead and select on the version of Minecraft you are trying to host your modded server on. So we are working with Minecraft 1.21.4, so I'm just going to leave it at that. Now where it says mod loader is where things get really important. So there are two options. We have the fabric mod loader or the forge mod loader. And both of those will essentially allow Minecraft to actually interact with mods and they will allow you to install all sorts of types of mods. However, not every version of Minecraft can support both mod loaders. For example, 1.21.4 only supports fabric. But if we go to like an older version, then we can go ahead and actually use like forge mods, for example, or fabric. But uh, depending on what version you want, you might be limited to either fabric or forge. So because we're only limited to fabric, I'm just going to be selecting on fabric like so. And then you want to go ahead and press on create and install essential. And now it'll begin to install the essential mod over here. And then eventually you should get a page that looks like this. So once it says install, you can go ahead and just close out of the essential installer. Now we can go ahead and move on to the next step. The next thing you want to do is you want to go to the link in the description down below or the pinned comments. And then it is going to take you to a web page that looks like this. Now over here, it'll actually provide you with a written guide showing you how to actually do this process. But it will also give you all the links and tools that you will need in order to actually make this work. So instead of trying to find all these sorts of links, you guys can go ahead and find all of it from this one page all right guys so we just did step number one step number two is to download fabric or forge now remember our version of minecraft only limits us to fabric so we're going to go ahead and install fabric however if you want to get a forge mod then you can do the same process but the ui just might look slightly different so because we're downloading fabric we're going to go ahead and select on this option that says download fabric from the official website and you'll notice that right underneath that it will say download forge and then it will provide you with a link as well but again, since we're doing it for Fabric, we're just going to go ahead and select on this page, for example. And then it is going to take us to the Fabric download page. So all you want to do is you want to go to the top right menu and select on download. Then go ahead and select over here where it says download universal jar. And now it will be installed to our device. Now, again, for curly purposes, I'm just going to go ahead and drag and drop the Fabric installer right over here just to make things easier to actually visualize. Then let's go back to the website over here and let's head on to step number three, which is to install Java 21. In order to actually run mods and shaders and Optifine and stuff like that, you will need to have Java installed on your device. 
So all you want to do is you want to press on this link over here and then it is going to take you to the direct download. So make sure that JDK21 is automatically selected. You want to go ahead and select on what operating system you're on. So this will work whether you're on Linux, Mac OS or on Windows. So me personally, I'm on a Windows. So I would go ahead and select on this option. Then I would install the x64 installer right over here. And basically whenever you do download Java, you're able to run jar files. You're able to basically like do a bunch of things for Minecraft. And if you're running into any issues, then what you could do is you can actually look up the a jar fix download so just go ahead and just look up jar fix download on google see jar fix download then go ahead and select on this link over here and then it is going to take you to a page that looks like this and essentially jar fix is an executable file that will attempt to link all of your jar files into java and this is basically only for people who are running into issues when downloading java so if you're downloading java and everything is running smoothly you do not need to worry about this however if you're running into issues then go ahead and actually press on this link over here that says jarfix.exe and that should be able to fix some issues all right guys then you want to go back to the website and then you want to scroll down until you see this one step number four download fabric api so this is only for fabric users so because i'm downloading a fabric mod i need to actually do this step however if you're downloading a forge mod then you can actually skip this step which is honestly pretty nice so all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on this link over here that does a download and then it is going to take us to a page that looks like this and we basically need to install fabric api now fabric api is used for like the majority of minecraft fabric mods so it's really important that you actually download it all right, so all you want to do is you want to make sure that it is compatible with the game version. So remember, we are working with Minecraft 1.21.4. So that means we need to download Fabric API for Minecraft 1.21.4. So yep, here it is. So all we're going to be doing is we're going to be going to the right and we're going to be selecting on these three dots. Then we're going to go ahead and press on download file. And now it'll be installed to our device. And once again, I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop it to my desktop. And then we can go ahead and head on to the next step. So the next step is to actually download mods for Fabric or Forge. Now, this is the mod that you're basically going to play with all of your friends. This is the mod that you're going to put on your server. Now, there's plenty of great websites where you guys could go ahead and find free mods. However, the most reliable ones are CurseForge and ModRinth, both of which are linked in this website. So let's go ahead and go to CurseForge, just like so. And then it is going to bring us a page that looks like this. Now, before you actually do anything or look for any mods, go to the left menu and underneath mod loaders, make sure that fabric is selected if you did download the fabric um, mod loader. However, if you downloaded the forge mod loader, then you need to go ahead and select on forge right over here. But because we are working with fabric, I'm just going to be selecting on fabric. And then where it says game version, make sure that it is for the correct version of Minecraft that you're trying to run this modded server on. So again, we're trying to make a modded server for Minecraft 1.21.4. So I would go ahead and select on Minecraft 1.21.4 like so. And over here, it will give you a list of all of the different mods that will work with both the mod loader and the version of Minecraft you're trying to work with. Now, for I'm here, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and look for a Minecraft mod to include in your server. So for this video, I think I'm going to be downloading the Exario's minimap mod. So I'm just going to be selecting on this. Then I'm going to be going to the right menu and selecting over here where it says view all. Uh, it's right next to the game version. So go ahead and just press on view all. And from here, you want to make sure that you actually download the correct file for both the mod loader and the game version. So remember, we are working with Fabric and Minecraft 1.21.4. So make sure that where it says mod loader, that your mod loader is actually compatible. So yep, here it is. It does say Fabric. And the game version, yep, here it is. It is the correct one. But obviously, if you're downloading like an older version of Minecraft, then you will need to scroll down. And there's a bunch of pages over here as well. Uh, but since we did find our version over here, all we're going to be doing is we're going to be pressing on these three dots. Then we're going to go ahead and select on download file. And then now it will begin to install our mod. And yep, there it is. So let's go ahead and drag and drop it to our desktop just like so. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and go to the desktop and locate all the files that you did download for this video. So, yep, we have all of them right over here. So the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be right clicking on the fabric installer. So right click on it like so. Then go ahead and scroll down till you see open with. And if your device does have Java, which it should, because that was one of the steps of the video, you'll now notice that Java will actually be an option. So it will say Java TM platform SE binary. So all you need to do is you need to go ahead and click on this that and then it is going to open up something that looks like this so go ahead and select on the correct minecraft version so again we are working with minecraft 1.21.4 and then over here it'll actually tell you exactly where in your device it is going to install uh fabric so all you want to do is you want to press on install just like so and then there you go fabric loader should be in minecraft so just press on okay then you can go ahead and close out of that 
From here, all you want to do is you want to open up the Minecraft launcher. Once we're in the Minecraft launcher, make sure that Minecraft Java Edition is selected. Then go to the top menu and select over here where it says installations. From here, you want to go ahead and locate the essential 1.21.4 fabric. Well, obviously your version might be different, but again, since we are working with Minecraft 1.21.4, that Minecraft version will show up over here. If you're having difficulty locating this, make sure that over here where it says versions that modded is actually turned on because this is considered a modded version of Minecraft. But anyways, guys, once you went ahead and located the essential installation, go ahead and press on this installations folder icon like so. And then it is going to open up a bunch of folders, but all you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up this folder that is called mods. And you will notice that there's already one mod over there. So leave that the way it is. What we're going to be doing now is we're going to be dragging and dropping both the fabric API and the mod that we, of course, did install, which is the minimap mod. So I'm just going to drag both of them. Do not, do not drag the fabric installer. Leave the fabric installer to your desktop only import the fabric api and the other mod that you did download but anyways guys once you have this you can go ahead and close out of it then open up the minecraft launcher one more time and go over here to where it says play so underneath the virgin installer make sure that fabric essential is actually selected then go ahead and press on play press on i understand then go ahead and press on play one more time all right guys and then eventually you should get something that looks like this so as you're able to tell we got a brand new menu and there's a lot of different options so what we're going to be doing now before we even make a world is start hosting a server we need to go ahead and actually add our friends on a central mod so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be pressing on this option that says social then go ahead and press over here where it says add friend and from here you want to go ahead and look up your friend's username now, your friend needs to have a central mod as well for the same version of Minecraft, and they also need to have installed these same mods as you. It will only work if your friend has done that before. So just go ahead and look for your friends and stuff like that and then press on add. So as you're able to tell, I do have some friends already, um, you know, over here. And then your friend will get a friend request and all they need to do is they need to accept it, which they could do via the essential mod. But anyways, guys, once you're done with that, you can go ahead and press on this option that does say host world. So from here, go ahead and select a world that you guys would like to host. Uh, this could be a custom world as well. But for this video, we're just going to be creating a new one. And now basically you need to load into your Minecraft world like so. <clears throat> and then here we are, boys. So you will notice that our mod is actually working. So in the uh, top left, we have the minimap. So that is definitely pretty cool. But in order to actually invite your friends on, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on this button that does say invite. Then go ahead and press on this box that says do not show warning again and then press on proceed. So keep in mind that your host IP will be visible through network log. So make sure that if you are going to play with someone that it's someone trustworthy, maybe someone you know in real life or like a close friend. But all you want to do is you want to press on proceed. Then go ahead and select on the basic world settings. So you can literally configure a lot of it so you could have cheats on or off. Uh, you guys can select on the difficulty, the game mode. And then from here, you guys can go ahead and invite your friends. So, um, you know, at the moment, all my friends are offline. But if you do have friends that are online, they will actually appear towards the top. So I'm just going to be giving these guys an invite like so. Then go ahead and press on done. And then your friend should be able to get those invites. And then all they need to do is they need to accept those invites. And then they can go ahead and join your Minecraft world. And from there, you guys can go ahead and enjoy multiplayer Minecraft with mods. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. See you later, French fries.